everybody, how's it going? My name is Ethan RJ Big Game, of course, and today I'm going to be showing all of you how to download Minecraft Forge for Minecraft 1.7.10. So first off, you want to go into the first link in the description, with it, which is files.minecraftforge.net. You could either be lazy and click the link, or you could just go and type it in in the search bar. Nevertheless, whenever you are on this thing, this beautiful website, you want to go down to Minecraft versions, go over to 1.7 and click on 1.7.10. And then, as you can see, we've got download latest and download recommended. I'm going to just go ahead and click on installer for download recommended, which is I also re recommend this for you as well. So after you click on that, you'll be greeted with this page right here. Now on the top right, as you can see, it says, please wait so-and-so seconds. Do not click on anything down here. These are m most probably da viruses and stuff, so you do not want to do this. And the top right, as you can see, after you wait about six seconds, it'll say skip. Click on that, and as you can see, the download is starting to actually, you know, download. Now, it all depends on what kind of file you download, because if I downloaded the Windows version, then it would most likely go faster for me. However, if you, say, for example, downloaded this, this downloader version, the just normal installer, then it would probably take a little bit longer. Click, let's go and click keep. And as you can see, we just wait for this thing to actually install and everything. Wait for it to finish up, and then as you can see, we can just drag it onto the desktop, minimize this, and double click on Forge. Now, before we do that, actually, we go ahead and go down here to the Minecraft launcher, click on it. Okay, what you want to do is you want to go onto any profile you want. See, I've already done this stuff, so I already have Forge. However, what you want to do is just go on to your account, and then go to Edit Profile whenever this thing loads. And then you want to do is you want to go to edit profile, go to Minecraft version, and do 1.7.10. And then go ahead and start it up and everything like that. So that way, Minecraft Forge has something to run off of. Because without that, it will not be able to run correctly. So what you want to do is just click on your name, whatever it is, go down to 1.7.10, click save profile, and then click on play. As you can see, it'll download everything that you will need as you can see right there then it will start to load up the actual game now once we're actually on the title screen we can just go ahead and quit game and then we can go back over to this thing so what you want to do is just go ahead and double click on this and then what you want to do is click on install client make sure that is checked and then click OK then what you do it will just download the libraries and everything and as you can see boom successfully installed client profile forge for version forge 10.13.4.1558 dash 1.7.10 into launcher click OK now we do not need this anymore we can go ahead and delete this and if this thing happens as well you can just go ahead and delete that as well then we can click on the minecraft launcher once again and as you can see whenever we load it up we will also have a new profile or you should have a new profile called forge if you do not then just go ahead and click new profile and then call it forge does not matter then go to the release 1.7.10 Forge and then whatever that thing is. Site profile, click on play, and then as you can see, it will load everything. And whenever it loads up, we will be greeted with the loading screen for Forge. And now you've successfully downloaded Forge from Minecraft 1.7.10. However, if this does not happen to you, then if you need any help or anything like that, just go ahead and ask me in the comment section. I'll be sure to try and help every single one of you that asks. So as you can see, we've got three mods active. These three mods are the Minecraft Quarter Pack. Forge Mod Loader and Minecraft Forge. Those are the three main mods that you will need to run Forge. Go on, you can go ahead and quit, quit game. And now the next part is downloading a mod. Now I have Optifine over here. What you want to do to go to Optifine will be the second link in the description below. It will be called optifine.net slash downloads.php. You could, of course, type this in the search bar once again. However, you could also type or just click on the link. Now, what you once you're on here, just go down to Minecraft 1.7.10 right here. As you can see, there's three versions. Download the latest version. Click download. Unless you want to click mirror, you can click mirror as well. I'm just going to go and click mirror to show you what it does. It's basically the same thing, but if this download does not work, then just click on mirror and it should work. So as you can see, we are greeted with optifine.net slash adloadx. And do not click on any of this stuff right here in the middle of these two ads. Click on download optifine underscore 1.7.10 underscore hd underscore u underscore d6 dot jar. Click on that. It might be different for you. It was just for that. So just click on that. Wait for it to load. If it, if that happens to, like to you, what it just did, like glitched out and everything, just click it again. And as you can see, it is downloading in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, 
this open. I don't know why it opened. However, after this thing, or while this thing is loading, actually, just go ahead and click the Windows key and R at the exact same time and type in percent app data percent. Once again, that is percent a p p d a t a percent symbol. Then click Enter. We agree with this thing over here. This is done. Download. Click on Keep and then just drag it onto your desktop after it is done processing and everything and now we can just drag it onto the desktop now as you can see we've got Optifine now I would not double click on this uh, actually I would d double click on this the installer for the microphone and it will create a new profile Optifine for it you do not need to do this however if you want to click on install Optifine is successfully installed now also you could just go to dot minecraft go down to mods and just drag this in there boom now you can minimize this if we go ahead and click onto excuse me we can go and click onto the minecraft launcher now, as you can see we've got a new profile called optifine now also you should be able to play this on forge let me just go ahead and test that out for you if this does not work then you could just go ahead and click on optifine it's basically the same thing so just click on forge or optifine if forge does not work now, as you can see, whenever it will load, we should be greeted with four mods instead of three. However, if we are still greeted with three, then, you know, we obviously have to go on to the Optifine profile, which is no big deal, alright? So, as you can see, it is downloading and everything. Wait for it to download. And we are here. As you can see, it has three mods active. However, if we go to mods, we have Optifine right here. And if we go click done and go to options, we go settings. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner, it says Optifine HD D6 Ultra. Now, that is how you successfully install Forge and Optifine and other mods for Forge. Hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, and I really hope that it helped you out as well. If you did, then go ahead and slap that like button down below. Also, if this is the first video you've seen by me and want more content like this, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well. Also, don't forget, if something did not happen right for you, go ahead and ask me. I will be sure to try and answer that question for you. Anyways, guys, this has been Champion Gaming, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye!